Hi guys, I'm Shivangi Tripathi and today I want to talk to you guys about how to start a fitness journey, your fitness journey 101. So um, the most important thing right now is the fact that I believe genuinely that a fitness journey is basically just you putting your life back into the right puzzle pieces, okay? First of all, diet. Now this is something which is uh, going to be really controversial. I am a vegetarian. I do understand the dietary limitations of vegetarians. So, you know, I can help you guys over there. The first thing that you guys need to understand is that sure, it's okay to have cravings. Sure, it's okay to give in to them. Sure, you're going to have them all the time, maybe. But you need to understand when to give in to them and when to resist them, right? So let's say, so you have to work in a reward-based system to begin with, and I promise the cravings go away. Sugar high is basically like any kind of addiction, right? So the thing is basically, I've, as you slowly wean yourself off of it, okay? And as you slowly start saying no to it more than you say yes to sugar, you'll basically start getting over it as well. Let's say, you know, you, you started like working out 20 minutes in the morning, which is, you know, come on, it's, it's not that big a deal. It's not that difficult. You know, you can do it. You know, you can take out 20 minutes from your life to invest into the only machine which is going to stick with you. And the only thing that's going to stick with you for life. Am I right? So my point is that you guys need to essentially start working out for let's say 20 minutes a day. And then if you can maintain that for whatever number of days that you set your heart to, so you set, you set a goal to, let's say for example, that basically um, when you work in a reward based system, you also have to be very careful not to kind of make it all about the reward. You should be enjoying the task that is being done as well. So don't make the work that is being done into a punishment. It is very important to remember this because you know there are haters everywhere and there are people who are going to try to beat you down and there are people who will fat shame you and body shame you and arm fat shame you and just you know all kinds of horrible horrible people out there who will probably call you unfit who will call you ugly you know people are mean people are horrible and you know what to do to people you ask them to fuck off okay because at least you're doing something to, do, to basically uh, make a positive change in your life. Am I right? And so I think that you guys, uh, when you start working out, no matter who the haters are, no matter what they say, you should always remember that the, the, this, um, the picture that I, that I keep talking to you guys about, about um, these 10 Olympic athletes standing side by side with their heights, with their weights, with their measurements written underneath them, because they're Olympic athletes, of course, they're all incredibly, incredibly fit, but they have completely different body types. So basically, what you want to be doing is, is that after you work out for as many minutes as you're supposed to, for as many days as you thought that you wouldn't be able to make it, maybe give yourself a break and have something that you feel like having that day. Um, next, I want to talk to you guys about water drinking. Now, honestly, this is one thing which I really cannot fathom, I cannot understand, I cannot digest. It's something that I've been trying to figure out, um, it's something I've been trying to figure out for a very, very long time and I still haven't been able to. I have so many friends who refuse to drink water. Like, I don't understand it at all. I really don't. Okay, I mean... It has gotten to the point where I have actually given them like two 500 mils of water, of bottled water and just told them that listen, no matter what, just finish this today. And my friend has still turned around and told me, oh, just this much was left. She has less than a liter of water a day. And I know so many people like that. You should be having about five liters of water a day, four or five liters of water a day. Um, if that concept is too hard for you to grasp and you can't really keep a check of how much water you're drinking and things like that, then a really great way to go about things is to just drink water when you're thirsty, okay? Um, next, I want to talk to you guys about, um, you know, 
the workouts in general basically the workouts which are there do with you guys are if you take out all the fluff in the talk at the beginning and the fluff in the talk at the end where i'm just trying to like figure out if you guys do have any questions and queries specifically for that day when you take all of that out what you're left with is basically a 10 minute workout all i'm saying is do double of that all i say is the whatever exercise i've told you whatever reps i've told you whatever sets i've told you just finish those your warm up is about 10 minutes your workout is going to be another about 10 15 minutes come on that's basically the number like if you if you worked out while watching ddlj playing on on z cinemas which has breaks for about like 30 minutes long anyway you would still be able to make it guys you'd still be able to do it um other than that i do want to talk to you guys finally about your sleep routines and your sleep patterns so i keep talking to you guys about these like four or five things that are really really important as far as your workout and your fitness and your fitness goals are concerned um i do want to talk to you guys about your sleep patterns and your sleep routines now different people have different requirements as far as their sleep is concerned but a minimum of 7 hours is recommended you know anything less than that in your body body is going to be lethargic and slower and and just more dead than it usually is um also another important thing that i want to tell you guys is is that if you wake up before your alarm rings and you go back to sleep for let's say 5 more minutes chances are you know if i'm talking about when you wake up on your own like before the alarm and you look at your alarm and you're like oh hey you know i have like 35 minutes more to sleep those 35 minutes are actually going to um reset your sleep pattern make you feel lazy and lethargic again if you've woken up fully awake after 7 hours of sleep and it's like a couple of minutes before your alarm just wake up and start your day yeah 